Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download uh, my free DAISY Classic TV overlays for your um, light stream streams to, uh, to Twitch for your Xbox or PlayStation. And basically what you'll get is the ability to put uh, that intro um, one on, um, that going live one, but don't worry, it doesn't have the twitch.tv scale speed a bit on, I've taken that out. Um, so that's the one that you have when you're actually playing and your, your gameplay appears in the middle with this classic TV around the outside. Um, then we have the map that you can you can flick to when you say, oh, let's have a look at the map. And you can, obviously people can't really see it, but it'll, while you're looking at the map, I survive or something, you know, they can be looking at that. There's um, a break one, so you can say, oh, I just need to go and answer the door or go to the toilet, you can click that one. And then at the end of the stream, when, you, when you're signing off, you can, uh, you can have that one. And also, when it's um, at the beginning, it will play the Daisy menu theme as well. So when, when you go in and you start this bit while you're just getting yourself up for like a minute or so, it'll be playing the you know the dang 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 sort of sort of um, music. And then when you go live, it'll just just be just be you. Okay, so how do you get this stuff? Well, the links to all this is in the description below the video. But basically, you go to my um, GitHub. Uh, repository the late lightstream daisy classic tv overlay uh, repository and then you click here where it says code and then you download the zip to your local hard drive put it somewhere you know where you'll know it is and then you'll want to unzip it so you have access to all the files inside if you if you're thinking well wait a minute what is what is lightstream um, lightstream is this service that enables you without a pc in the middle to add professional looking overlays and custom looking overlays to your streams to Twitch from PlayStation or Xbox. You know, so you can have the surrounds, um, you can have, as you see there, the different screens. Uh, if you um, integrate it with some third party things, which I'll do separate videos on as well, you can have um, professional uh, and custom notifications. So when someone subscribes or follows or donates or raids, you can have all the, you know, the fancy things that pop up on the screen. Um, it's, it's really cool it's a fantastic service obviously you have to pay for it it's not free um, but I definitely recommend it if you stream from your PlayStation or your Xbox um, to Twitch and you don't want to have the hassle of having a computer in the middle then this is an excellent service um, so here we go so download the files to your local PC and extract them and you'll end up with something like this now the TV one is actually a PNG file so that means that it has transparency and that's how we get your your gameplay from your Xbox or your PlayStation to, to appear these the other ones these four these are all just JPEGs set at um, uh, 1920 by 1080 and then the music funnily enough is actually a video file with no video in it <laughs> it's just got the music in that's why it's so why it's so small um, so anyway so let's get cracking so um, so what you want to do is you want to um, start up a new project so you'd say new I've already got the name here Daisy Classic TV Vanilla and then scene one um, we want to add a layer in don't we so you'd click add layer let's add the image first so we click on image um, click on upload image just go to the folder where it is so the first one is stream starting soon so drag that put that there upload that now this is a 1080p um, project um, at 30 frames seconds if you're doing a 7 if you're doing one of the others if you're doing 720p obviously you will have to resize this so the next thing we want to add is the uh, the music so this is actually a video clip we're adding so we go upload and get the daisy music put that on there and then what you need to do is you need to move the daisy music below the photo so just drag it down that way the music will be playing in the background while the that, that um, picture is up now we're not going to have any ability for you to say anything okay we're not going to add the uh, the game uh, input on this so it's very important you don't start talking when stream starting soon is on and um, we probably want to um, add that you know one uh, intro 
Okay, so so that's good. So we're happy with that. So now let's add our second one. So our next one is going to be our our live screen. So to add an image, upload image, and this one will be the TV one. So we drag the TV one on. So there, is, so there it is. So as you see, it fits. Um, and this bit is the is the uh, the empty bit. So this is where we now want to add the game source. Now you'll already have linked your Twitch account to um, to uh, to Lightstream, and you'll have followed the instructions on how you can. Uh, w w on Xbox, uh, you you go to uh, the Twitch app, and you can change the uh, the destination from Twitch to Lightstream on PlayStation you do it by changing something in your DNS settings but it's dead easy to do I'll, I'll, if I remember I'll put the links in the description down below um, and as you can see the game source is underneath the classic live thing because we want the game play to, to appear here and we want the TV overlay to be on the top so that's cool isn't it so that's fine dead easy so we'll call, we'll call that one um, to live and then uh, let's add in um, an image sure one shot sure. let's have the back in a bit one so when you go for a break let's just add that and then it's very important to add the game source in as well underneath it so that if you're talking when you come back people can hear it if you don't add the game source when you switch to this slide, you know, when you go from live to that one, people won't be able to hear it. So now let's add in, uh, why don't we do the map one? And again, it's very important, add the, the uh, game source so that while you're looking at the map, maybe you're looking at iSurvive on your laptop or your phone, you know, if they get the, your viewers are looking at this, they can hear what you're saying. Um, what else have we got? And then we've got the outro. So this is for the end of the stream. Again, make sure you add in your game source. I mean, I suppose you could at this point, you could if you wanted to you could add the uh, the daisy music to as well um, just make sure it's at the bottom but what you'd probably want to do is turn the daisy music right down so that people can hear what you're saying depends how long your outros tend to be maybe like if you're thanking people maybe you want to do that and that will start playing in the background and that's all of them isn't it so we got one two three four five scenes all together is that all of them one, two, three, four, five scenes. Yeah, so that's great. So then, you know, when you fire up your stream on Twitch, um, oh, the final thing is what you do is if you want it to be your auto live project. So this is the project that when you start streaming from your Xbox to the PlayStation, this is the project that Lightstream automatically turns on. You click that there. Um, you turn that on there, and then it will automatically do it. Um, you know, and you have that. I, I always recommend don't have this stream starting soon on for too long. Sometimes you have streams where people fire, fire it up. You know, they say, I'm streaming at five o'clock, and they'll fire this up and they'll be playing it for 10 minutes, waiting for people to come in. It's like, no, no, get on with it, you know. <laughs> and then you flick to live, and this is the one you spend most of the time in when you're chatting about stuff. You need to go for a wee back in a bit. You need to look at the map, look at that one, and at the end of the day, stream that one. So there we go. So again, I'll put the. Um, links to this uh, github um, repository down below feel free to modify them as well they're only jpegs so do whatever you want with them the the just just as a matter of interest actually all these photos these daisy scenes these are all from um uh the daisy press pack so they're for official being behemoth interactive stuff but i guess they won't mind us using them because they're from the press pack um and the tv um png i just i just looked up classic tv PNG or something like that, old-fashioned Russian TV PNG off um, off the interwebs. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. If you found it useful, obviously hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Um, and I will... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please follow and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.